Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. A lot to talk about. We're still just officially into the second week of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season and the tropics already trying to mess with us. Things are heating up out there. We've got not one, not two, but three potential systems that could develop into tropical cyclones. So let's get right to it. Like I said, a lot to talk about. First, let's start off with our satellite. We've had tons of moisture streaming over the central southern part of the Florida Peninsula. So they've been dealing with a lot of heavy rain right around Sarasota, close to a foot of rainfall. Miami, several inches of rain, flash flood emergency for today. But that's not the only spot that's getting a lot of this tropical moisture. We've got it streaming up there with a the potential system developing. And we've also got a lot of tropical moisture across much of Central America and spreading into Mexico. So we've been monitoring these clusters or areas of showers and storms. And now we have three areas of concern. The National Hurricane Center saying there's basically three areas that they're investigating to see if we could have some possible tropical cyclone formation. So of course, yesterday we had Invest 90L that was getting close to the southwestern portion of the Florida Peninsula. It is now crossing over the central and southern Florida Peninsula, and it is expected to push into the southwestern Atlantic over the next six to 12 hours. So then it's going to have a low 20% shot to put potentially develop into a tropical depression or a tropical storm right off of the southeastern U.S. coast. So that would likely be somewhere just off of the coast of the Carolinas. Low shot for that happening. Atmospheric conditions not really favorable for any rapid development, but of course we're monitoring that. 20% chance for that to happen. But bottom line, Florida getting inundated with several inches of rain and a lot of dangerous flooding going on. Now here are the new developments. We've got a second invest area that we're monitoring this one in the Bay of Campeche in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico and it now has a 30 percent chance for tropical cyclone development over the next seven days over the next 48 hours about a zero percent chance but over the next seven days about a 30 percent chance also we've got a third area we're investigating this one to the south of Mexico in the Eastern Pacific. The good news with that one, it's gonna be moving away from us, but it has a low 20% shot for development as it likely tracks to the west northwest. So the Invest 90L over the Florida Peninsula will be moving away from us as well, but we've really gotta keep a close eye on that Invest number two in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico because that is the one that could bring us some bigger impacts over the next several days. At this point, like I said, over the next two days, a 0% shot of anything happening, but over the next seven days, the chance for this to develop into a possible tropical depression, tropical storm has increased to 30%. Here's the good news for us. I definitely think we're going to get a big plume of tropical moisture early next week that will bump up our rain chances. But if the system were to develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm, most of the models are keeping it to our south and basically drifting it to the west, northwest, and it likely would be pushing over into parts of Mexico early next week and not up towards southeast Texas. But regardless of whether it makes landfall here or not, we're going to get a lot of moisture from this system. So this is certainly something that we are monitoring closely. In fact, I want to show you our future cast, our long range model, and this one showing all of that tropical moisture impacting the Florida Peninsula. But as we get into this weekend, we are going to be monitoring for that chance for a broad area of circulation developing in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. It likely will start spinning a little bit, bringing up a lot of tropical moisture our way, especially for late Sunday. That could impact your Father's Day plans Monday, Tuesday, maybe even on into Wednesday. That threat for rain definitely going up. So notice that big area of dark green and yellow getting close to Mexico right around Veracruz. That's going to be Sunday afternoon and that's where the system likely will hang out very close to that eastern Mexican coast and likely if it develops would make landfall somewhere along the eastern Mexican coast and not 
come up towards Houston, but it doesn't take a landfall for us to have big impacts. Heavy rain from that system will likely be spreading to the north, and that means we could have some pretty big tropical downpours to deal with late Sunday night and especially Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. In fact, as we go from today all the way through early next week, notice our rain chances really increasing. In fact, this model showing we could have three, four, possibly five inches of rain over the next several days from that tropical moisture that will be building in from the south. So, of course, Florida getting hit hard with a lot of heavy rain over the next few days, but we will start to get in on some of that tropical moisture potentially as we go into early next week. Here's another model, and I want to show you what this one is depicting. This is through 11 p.m. Friday, and notice all the heavy rain over towards the Florida Peninsula. But as we go into the weekend, early next week, we will start to see our rain chances going up as well. So just keep in mind, there could be some increasing flooding risk for our area, especially for next week, Monday, Tuesday, and potentially into Wednesday. So keep it here. Of course, we'll keep fine tuning that forecast as we get more model runs in. Now, yesterday we had another important update for a forecast. It was the June update for the Colorado State University forecasters. Of course, back in April, they came out with their first forecast for this hurricane season. Definitely with above average numbers, 23 named storms, 11 hurricanes and five major hurricanes. Now their June update, they decided to keep those exact same numbers, which are pretty aggressive because it's above the norm of 14 named storms, seven hurricanes and three major hurricanes. So they decided to keep the numbers. They're still expecting 23 named storms. Out of those, 11 becoming hurricanes, and out of those, five likely becoming major hurricanes of category three or greater. The reason they kept those numbers that high, where we've got super warm water across the Gulf of Mexico, across the Caribbean Sea, temps in the middle 80s all across the Gulf. So if we are going to get this system to develop in the Bay of Campeche over the next few days, there's going to be plenty of warm water to fuel that system. And although we're not expecting rapid development, it could definitely strengthen into a possible tropical depression, maybe even a tropical storm. So if we do get a tropical storm in the Gulf by this weekend, what would the name be? Well, the first name on that list is Alberto. So as long as we don't get that system around Florida developing before this one, this would be the name. So the second name on the list for this season would be Beryl. And then we'll go to Chris, Debbie, Ernesto, Francine, and Gordon. Hopefully we won't have to use too many of these names, but now we do have that possibility for that development in the Gulf. So of course we are going to be keeping you updated on what's going on. So here's what you need to know. Broad area of low pressure could develop in the southern Gulf of Mexico this weekend. There is a low chance that could wrap up, get a little tighter, get a little bit stronger and develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm. The models are showing that it should stay south of Houston and the rest of Southeast Texas, but whether it hits us directly or not, it's likely going to bring in a lot of tropical moisture, which means a heavy rain threat for the early to middle part of next week. So you certainly want to be thinking about that, planning for that. If you've got some outdoor functions, outdoor plans for Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, you definitely want to have a backup plan because we could have a lot more of this showing up on the radar and that's heavy downpours and those tropical downpours where that rain comes down super fast and super heavy and increases our flood threat. 